I am postponing that activity by one more session because uh, Professor Prakash Vaidya has actually gone through all the submissions on the TED Talks that you had made. You remember you had two occasions to write the report. One was the handwritten report and the next was a typed version of the report. Now one expected that in the typed version you would spend time in correcting errors that you might have probably got incorporated while writing by hand. Unfortunately, even in the typed report, there are many errors. Now, as I was talking to another colleague of mine, he says that good expression in the language which is used as medium of instruction is to be ensured at the level of high school at the most. So are we trying to fix a problem which was created in the schools? The answer unfortunately is partially yes, but I would not attribute it so much to the lack of appropriate learning during the school. I would attribute it to the lack of mental discipline that we have perhaps failed to acquire to the extent that is required. So as a result, what uh, Professor Prakash Vaidya has decided is that he has got all the printed submissions that you had made. He has organized it roll number wise roughly the way you sit here. He is going to distribute uh, copies of uh, four submissions to a group of four people. So obviously if I am one of the group members, one of the four submissions will be my own and the other three will belong to the remaining three. Now what you have to do is within the group of four, you have to mark corrections on the submissions of the other three people. Okay. So these will be circulated in a round robin fashion kind of, you can decide there are four people only. And finally, so it is a progressive correction. So suppose I get one paper first, I will mark corrections to it. I will pass it to the second person who would have to read the entire thing, see the corrections and put additional corrections if one finds out. Same thing with the third person. Then it comes down to the first person who should read the entire thing and be amused at the kind of errors that are still there after the final submission. Okay. After you do these four, they, there is also another hidden intent. The hidden intent is that each one of you has probably seen and benefited from one TED talk, which is what was stipulated. Of course, I am sure some of you would have while hunting for a TED talk you would have seen many TED talks and you would have benefited from those because they are excellent talks. So this is another opportunity for you to know at least three more talks summarized and criticized. So you would get to see that. So we will do this exercise today. He is, uh, by the way, he has painstakingly done corrections on each and every submission, which of course he is not going to share with you now. Given the kind of meticulous person Professor Prakash Vaidya is, he is going to collect all these four papers back from all of you and will again go through them to find out if you have missed any correction. That is the level of time that you need to spend on writing correctly. So that activity will start very shortly. Uh, as I said, I am postponing the discussion on reading and writing research papers by one lecture. In the next uh, session, that is uh, Tuesday morning, and please do come in time at least for Tuesday morning session at 8.30, because we are going to have an exposition on how to read a research paper. Now, in order to illustrate the point, we are picking up one particular research paper, so identified by my colleague, Professor Sahana Murthy. She is a faculty member in educational technology uh, interdisciplinary program and she had given an excellent talk on how to read research papers using that paper as a background. So as we speak, a printout of that paper is being assembled together and that printout will be distributed to you before you leave the class. So please remember to collect a copy of the printout of that paper. The idea is do spend some time over the weekend to read through that research paper and do two things. This is for you, there is no submission. 
do two things. One, write down the summary of what you understand from that research paper. And that summary should not be a copy of the abstract which is given in that paper itself, obviously. The second, also try to write down how you read that paper. So, of course, there are a research paper, as you know, you first read it as a sort of storybook in one pass, and then maybe you concentrate on some aspects and read those paragraphs again, and then try to assimilate what are the major findings, etc. So, do write down the approach that you have used while reading that paper. And then we'll see from the expert how that very paper should have been read. It's one way of looking at it. Of course, there is no unique way of reading and understanding a research paper. But what Sana Murthy has worked out is an extremely good, balanced way of quickly assimilating the essence of a research paper. So that talk we shall have on Tuesday morning. Okay. This is a precursor to the literature survey. When you do a literature survey, you are supposed to look at something like 50 to 70 research papers in that field, identify maybe five or seven which are more relevant to the particular theme on which you are working on, and then relook at those five or seven papers more critically. Now, the first lecture will be how to look at a paper critically. So, that will apply to those five or seven papers. But the second lecture about literature survey will concentrate on how do you quickly go through 100 papers and identify which of those five or seven makes sense to you. Okay. So, that is part of the research methodology and I believe that will be useful to you in uh, this semester and the subsequent year when you actually try to do that. Of course, we will follow it up uh, by talks on and discussions on how to write research papers or how to write research reports, which is one of the important aspects of technical communication. So, in a nutshell, uh, today we will be continuing the discussion on the submissions of TED Talk summaries. As I explained and Professor Prakash Vedi will explain it further. Uh, place this, please take this exercise seriously because while it is not our mandate to fix the high school problem, as I said, but it is important that all of you appreciate uh, that even a small error in writing, even a small error in writing could have a very jarring effect on the mind of the reader. And therefore, it is absolutely essential that you spend enough time in making sure that as many errors as you can are found and corrected. So, that exercise will continue today. Uh, and for those of you who came in late, the reading of research paper and the literature survey will be the sessions which will be conducted subsequently. I will conduct the session on Tuesday uh, for reading of the research paper and then I will request Dr. Sahana Murthy herself to conduct a session on doing the literature survey. Uh, uh, let me very briefly tell you what that paper is about because that is another exciting part of teaching learning process that we experimented with. How many of you have heard of clicker devices? None. How many of you are familiar with a popular TV program called Kon Manega Karodpati? Large number. Okay, so when the great Amitabh Bachchan asks the audience and conducts an audience poll, he shows a multiple choice question with A, B, C, D answers and people are supposed to press A, B or C or D. Well, the device which people use to give their opinion is called a clicker. Now, these clicker devices have been used extensively, mostly in the US uh, high school education and physics education. They all emerged in about last six or seven years. A few years ago, when I conceived that this could be a very useful tool for a classroom, where suppose I explain a concept, and then I put a short quiz. There are two things that happen with a quiz that I conduct. One is, I get to know how many people have understood that concept and how many have not. More importantly, since I get an instant feedback, I have an opportunity to take another example, an illustrative uh, example, and explain that concept once again. You would agree that in the normal test, you and teachers get a feedback only after test papers are corrected. 
And suppose I find that question number three has been answered wrongly by most people. It is two weeks too late. So later on, if I try to explain, the things are not fresh in your mind. So most teachers who have used these clicker devices in the classroom have found the usefulness to be instant feedback. So in IIT Bombay, we said uh, we will also try this out. And uh, my colleague, uh, uh, Professor Kutchatkar, who was earlier deputy director here, and he was in Ahmedabad training in uh, one petroleum institute. He told me he has actually invested in buying clickers, and they are available for $30 a piece. So I called the uh, Firang representative, and he said the clicker device will cost 2,500 rupees. So I said, why? Because $30 was not 2,500 rupees then. He says, no, custom duty, this, that, and our margins. Then I said, at least the software I get free. He says, no, that is $10,000. So I gave him a cup of tea, said thank you, and called my affordable solutions lab people and said, can you design this clicker here? And can you do it at one-tenth of the price? 250 rupees is the price point I gave them. Because that's the motto of the affordable solutions lab. That there's no great new technology or checking technology that you invent, but you find out a solution which is hopefully 10 times cheaper than the available thing. They couldn't do it, but they came up with a 650 rupees bill of material. I got the clickers designed. I got them fabricated. They cost about 700 rupees, which was much cheaper than 2,500 rupees. And we used it in the classroom first. It was a very mundane device with uh, uh, not even an LCD screen, but just uh, some kind of light emitting LEDs. And the user interface was not very good. So we asked them to design another one. And they designed it for 1,100 rupees. When Akash tablets came, we decided to put the clicker software on Akash. And now the clicker software is being used by many colleagues in IIT and elsewhere on Akash tablets to conduct these instant quizzes. So the first time we conducted a distributed clicker experiment, this was most really unique in the world then and even now, when we run the 10,000 teachers training program, where teachers assemble at 300 remote centers, and we give lectures from here, to get an instant feedback, we issued these clickers to the participating teachers at remote centers. And the expert here would give a quiz, which would of course be seen by everyone because there was a two-way audio-visual connection, Every participating teacher will answer the quiz from the remote center where he, she is attending from. Of course, the radio signals cannot come all the way to IIT from Coimbatore or Kolkata. So there would be a local server which will collect those feedback and, and that will be FTP'd onto our central server. The delay was exactly one minute in collecting feedback from all 10,000 teachers at one place. Now, this proved to be very useful and, the, and, and our team wrote a research paper on the distributed use of clickers. So this is the background. The research paper itself will be circulated to you. Do read it, as I said, and two things you have to do. One, you have to jot down what is the essence of that paper, and that essence should not be a copy of abstract or even a summary of abstract. You have to write it in your own words. More important, or at least equally important, is I would like you to jot down how you read that paper. Okay. Whether you read it once, twice, thrice, whether you read it only once, what portions you concentrated, what appealed to you, etc. Et so that you should write down, and that is precisely the process that we'll discuss in the next lecture. Is that all right? Thank you. With that, I will hand over to Professor Prakash Vaidya. Thank you, Professor Patel. Yeah, our task today is that the TED Talk summary submissions which you had made. So we printed out all of them, brought one blank copy for each of you, and another copy we corrected ourselves. So all of them have been corrected at our end. Now, how many of you before pressing submit button had checked their own submission? Very few, maybe 10, 20 percent. So, first rule is 
before you submit anything, you go through that and try to find out whether you can detect errors immediately. Since there is only one page, you can do it immediately. So, now the exercise we are going to do is this. We will have to rearrange the seating according to rule numbers. So, the TAs have this like four groups. In that, you have to sit according to your roll numbers, they will guide you. In groups of four, in groups of four sequentially. So, since you know where your groups were, you can at least go to that group area and then they will guide you. Then what we are going to do is for each group, we are going to give four printouts corresponding to that group. And first we have to check your own printout, because your own printout plus three other group printouts will be there. Then in round robin fashion, you have to go sequentially, you have to check the next uh, second, third, fourth. So, all four will be checking all four submissions. So, that is the exercise we are going to do. Time is not important, doing the, these four pages is the only thing we will do today. Then you will submit them back, then next time we will show you what are the results for this one page. So, let us rearrange the seating. So, first group goes up to 13305039 up to Shubham Kumar. So, roll numbers up to Shubham Kumar are in this first group. Second group is at the back three rows. Back two rows. Six and seven rows. Yeah. Yeah, back. That goes from 0040 to 0079. So, 0040 to 0079 is back two rows. Then 0080 to 56001 is group 3, which will be here, and every, everybody beyond is in group 4. If you arrange yourself, if you stand up in sequence of roll numbers, you will find easy to form groups. Otherwise, you won't know who your neighbor is. You stand up in sequence of roll numbers and start filling up. Department. So, people from other departments have also done the submissions and we had to sort them out. In CSE submissions itself, probably 30 people have not written their roll numbers or name. Where they had written either roll number or name, we could figure out. For some of them, we could figure out from the file, because file had a roll number. But some people do not have the roll number in the file also, so we have no clue. Now, we will have to sort out. If you remember what you have submitted, then you sort out from the available thing. Okay, those who have formed the group and got for these things, they can start correcting. So, which was yours? No, no, whether it is in this. Check up in there. Check up. Anyway, you start correcting. Three of you, you start. This is the only thing we have to do. Whatever time it takes. If it takes 5 minutes, it, it totally will be 20 minutes. Time is not a constraint. Time is not a constraint. No, no, first you do your own, then you uh, go around in your group.
those who have got their submissions whether you have formed groups or not you start correcting if you have formed the group then you start rotating also then we will ask those who have not found their submissions and we try to sort out. Everybody has got their submissions. Okay, I think we'll give a time out. Now, whatever corrections you have done, even if four passes are not over, you total uh, the errors that you can count on one page, right at the bottom, and just circle that number. Then collect your group sheets together and put a U clip on that so that we can identify the groups and the TAs can collect them. Yes, where are the TAs? So, we start, start correcting, do not bother even if you have not finished all the correction cycles, because in some subsequent session we will analyze this and then we will showcase what kinds of faults, some of them I had listed here, but there are many kinds of faults. So, we will discuss some of them in subsequent session. We will also compare, because I have checked all the submissions. So, we will compare that score with what you have found out and point out where the deficiencies are. 